Hey guys, it's Mo here, and right now I'm going to show you how to poach an egg. Probably the healthiest possible way to eat an egg. It can still be runny, it's not as flavorful, but it's good. Now it starts with bringing at least three inches of water, or more, to a, you know, a gentle simmer, as you can see. And vinegar, very important to hold this together. I like to do it over medium heat. Some people will use lemon juice, vinegar, um, it's a different one from Brazil I'm using, it's this brand here. It doesn't really matter which one you're using, but just use a good one. Now one thing I like to do, or some other people like to do, but it just depends, is I'm showing for the video. This egg is going to be in a ramekin or some sort of bowl. That way when you drop it in, you know it's incorrectly. Let's say you crack an egg on the table, and it breaks halfway. When it goes in there, you're going to be stuck with a mess. So, just drop it in gently. Do not throw it in there. It's better to get as fresh as the egg as possible. If not, that's fine. You're not a professional chef catering for fancy, luxurious people in a restaurant. You're just a regular person. So let's just uh, get in there. You'll know when it's done when it floats to the top, which could be in a few minutes, by the way. It's under medium heat. Yeah, just a gentle simmer. This is kind of what happens when you don't use the freshest egg. This. Got some little whites floating to the top. These are basically cooked already, I guess, but uh, you know, just kind of forget about it. It's good enough. The fresher the egg, the better. The non-fresher the egg, well, that's what happens to it. Now let's just say I had an English muffin with me, which unfortunately I do not, but I will use the next best thing, toast. And unfortunately I don't have hollandaise, but if I did, you'd put the toast, the egg, and the hollandaise right on top. What do you have? That's right, eggs benedict, very fancy breakfast. A nice way to say it's going to be a great Sunday, very traditional. Now you could do this by time, but also you want to check the egg. That's definitely not cooked yet, you can see the yolk still. It's got to be completely covered up. And it's got to be kind of firm to a touch in a way. You can do this a few times and you'll see what I mean. I personally am not a huge Eggs Benedict fan, poached eggs fan, but you know, it does the job and it's nice occasionally. I don't want the same thing all the time. I don't always want scrambled or an omelette or a boiled egg. I want something, you know, a little different once in a while. Now, time is a factor. If it floats to the top by itself, which it's doing right now, is a factor. This could also indicate that it's done. Now, the way is by touch. It should be firm. Okay, which this is. I could pop that right now if I want to. I'm going to give it another minute. Anyway, I like doing this in real time, just kind of showing you guys what it's like. I could fast forward it, but then you couldn't hear me talking, which would really suck. No. So, real time is good for a short video. Again, this definitely doesn't look the nicest, that's for sure, but it's good enough. Some people will get a glass bowl and they'll put it in so the egg keeps the shape, which is fine, but too fancy for me. I really don't care for presentation. So this presentation only matters for about 10 seconds anyways. So that, it's gone. And all the work you did, you're just thinking, forget about it. Yeah, it, it's definitely a floater. I think I'm gonna lift it out now. You can get it over easy. You wanna cook it a little longer? You can, but uh, over easy is my way to go. So let's just double check, make one last turn. Yep, let it drain up a little. Now. I'm going to put it right over top. And crack into it. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's the poached egg. Okay, this is Mo. Thank you.